Hello YouTube, Stefan here. I like doing stuff with command blocks. Command blocks are particularly useful for adventure map making. So let's talk about adventure maps. Say we have an adventure map or we build one and there are people on this map. And of course these people want to interact with the map in case it's a mini game or anything or a story, I don't know. They want to have their names mentioned in chat, for example. That's something Minecraft can pretty much easily do. Well, in this case it was cheating because we just say something that contains a player name, which is randomly on our server. These armor stands represent players, by the way. Um, but we can do better. We can use a different command. Say it doesn't do much good there. Tell raw is much better. It can do basically the same thing as say it can. But also it can do something like this, which is real interaction. You see how the name changes in the chat down there? Yeah, that's because this command doesn't need to know what kind of names Lucy, George or GLaDOS are having here. It uses, well, kind of complicated syntax here to tell the tell raw command, hey, please say give and then a selector of a random, well, you could do player, in this case it's an armor stand, and then a cat, and it will say, give George a cat. But the thing with adventure maps is, well, you want to do stuff in Minecraft. The player shall do stuff, and just talking in the chat is not really that interesting. Rather, giving them an actual cat would be better. Well, problem is, Cats have like a tag that says who's their owner and if you want to summon a cat for a player you would have to set that tag to the owner somehow. And that just isn't possible. What is possible is to say people's names in the chat with Telraw or, and that is like a later edition, also use the same kind of syntax in books, the title command or even on signs. But you can't give cats with names. What a shame. Well, we can give a cat for now. Uh, I first wanted to mention that you can like simplify the syntax here a little bit uh, using arrays and strings. But now we give someone a cat here, Lucy's cat. This is like cheating. Cheating like the first command block. I definitely cheated here because what I did is I summoned an ocelot while well, the owner couldn't be like the armor stand so I set it to anything but I'm demonstrating my point here with the custom name, Lucy's Cat. Just says there, Lucy's Cat. And we would need, well, we would need to execute that command. I mean, I can also execute it with execute at any player, but, but still it would be Lucy's Cat. If only execute, look here, execute takes a string parameter just reminds me so much of say that I I was thinking why don't we make execute as useful as tell raw by allowing basically something like this execute and then this text tag which contains the command basically and well what I would suggest is to allow this in Minecraft isn't much of a change take an existing JSON parser and take like the code for execute or something and just plug in the parser there and basically that's the reason why we're in 1.8 here because of MCP I was able to do that and the result works pretty good I think here look we got Lucy's cat with this text tag we can of course uh, like use the string notation again and put it in brackets and split it around Lucy here like this and on the other side that would like look like like this and then we could replace Lucy with a selector and what we get is a command that summons us not, us not only Lucy's cat but also GLaDOS's cat or eventually maybe George's cat. Yay! Uh, let's celebrate this fact.
are summoning a yellow cat. Okay, so now that we changed execute to allow JSON formatting, I thought, well, while implementing this, I thought, uh, why should it be only execute? Let's just change commands overall to support JSON formatting like this. Yay! So this mod I wrote is actually based on a um, Minecraft suggestion I made about a year ago. I can, I, I will put the link to that Minecraft suggestions Reddit in the description of the video, and that, uh, under there you can find a zip file with some some files you would have to drop into your jar. Um, if you don't know how to apply jar mods. You need to find that out online or alternatively you can join this server which is just stuffin.com and if you join that if I'm online which I try to be like the today and tomorrow most of the time hopefully that works um, I could up you if you want to try something out yourself I would be really interested if someone else has more ideas how to use this kind of idea I have some more demonstrations here. I was thinking, ah, next demonstration, change the cat's colors. So I have like four squids here with names zero to four. We can say their names. And if, in case you don't know, cat color is determined by this cat type over here. And if we just do, like we can tell raw a random squid name to get a random number, then we can like just execute like this and put after the cat type the random squid selector and what we do get is random colored cats with random people's names or like in a real situation they would be owned by those people another thing you can do next to the selector thing you can also use the um, score tag of tell raw syntax. The other tags are pretty much useless though um, because I mean what does it mean to execute a colorful command or anything? We we'll use a scoreboard. Um, I call the score value velocity and that's because I want to give this minecart some velocity with a simple command like this entity data Add the minecart and then the motion tag and then split the string there right at the Y motion right before a dot zero and put in a score named velocity the objective is just dot here and if we set that objective to one then the minecart will fly up we can set in a specific value anything we want for example nine and just go flying. Of course all the same thing works in, in the chat as well. <clears throat> you could do something like, I don't know, just if you want to TP myself relative to some scoreboard value which I basically have to do is put the thing in a string that into an array find the spot where I want to enter here my value split the string to commas and in between there you put your tags in this case it would be score name velocity and objective dot and then we teleport ourselves up nine blocks or if we want to go higher maybe 40. 40 sounds good. Yay! So while I was at it and like implementing random stuff with JSON for all the commands well actually why I was thinking about the idea and you will also see this in some kind of forum in the um, suggestion is I was thinking about well wouldn't it be useful if we could use arrays 
I didn't know about the concatenation behavior of arrays. But basically, I was thinking, wouldn't it be useful if we could use arrays with multiple commands as multiple commands? As the concatenation thing here is really useful, I thought, well, well, maybe use something you would not use otherwise, like double array. And I just went ahead and implemented this kind of behavior, which can be really useful. I will show you things you can do with this that were not possible before. Of course, multiple commands in one command block would be a thing, although that would be, wouldn't be like the most necessary thing. But uh, when regarding execute, what you could do before is like execute and then add, for example, at the armor stand, execute say one. And what that will do is, well, it was first of all say one, but then you can say two and three as well. And every armor stand will then say three things. Just a demonstration of execute. But look at the order. First, all of them say one, then all of them say two, and all of them say three. And I was already having, uh, I was having in the past, like one or two times, um, being in a situation where I actually wanted the order of execution to be different to achieve something. And I had to use nasty workarounds with, I don't know, I think I on, or, uh, even have it in a video with the teleportation array arrows that I had to use some workarounds because that didn't work. Sometimes you can also help with scoreboard stuff already. But basically what this would allow is to instead just execute on the armor stands and then on each individual armor stand three commands directly in a row like this. Another thing is about command blocks with multiple commands. Technically, even in vanilla Minecraft as it's right now, you can do multiple commands in one command block by using either stacked towers of command block falling sand entities or a lot of command block minecarts stacked on top of each other, which is, in my opinion, the nicer solution. But still, they are both very uh, like using a lot of entities, very complicated to use and very verbose syntax. And I mean, why shouldn't Minecraft just support something simple like this? I don't know. If we're lucky, we'll get this. Probably we won't. Um, well, that's pretty much it for my um, feature demonstrations here. I want to show you what I like implemented earlier on, which is like this command block. We can easily put things in one command block this way. You can, what you can do is um, actually, well, this will give me a dog, which is not because I wrote stuff in here, but because I did it with a selector. But the thing is, this is actually a clock that will give me a new dog once the old one's dead. And that is possible well, in 1.9, you could now use also regular clocks, but you could even, with this, put a whole fill clock, including then the commands to be executed into one single command block, which is pretty cool, I think. Well, anyways, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and goodbye.